Okay, so what we're going to look at doing today is adding um, to Joomla a menu that actually drives to an anchor point position on the page. So if we look at the page here, we have the About menu. And when you go to the About menu, of course, the page lands and it gets right to the About. We also have a little um, sub-menu here that's the Society. When you click on the Society, it also as well goes right back to the About menu. But what we want to do is we want to click on the About menu and add a menu here called the Board of Directors. Now down on the page, here's the EEOS Board of Directors. So what we want to do is have a menu that says Board of Directors and we click on it. We want the page to scroll right to that section right here for the Board of Directors. So to do that, we got to create an anchor point. And the quickest way to create an anchor point on a page is go ahead to the back end of Joomla and we're going to go to Extensions and Modules. Once we've got to Extensions and Modules, we'll go ahead and click New Module. Now the type of module we want to add is what's called a custom module because we're going to use some uh, custom HTML or just regular text that we're going to drop into the page. So I'm going to go ahead and click Custom right here on the page. After we get the uh, custom page loaded up, we're going to go ahead and say, uh, we're going to give it a title. And let's give it the same title that we saw on the page, which is EEOS um, Board of Directors. So we, we have to have a title for our module, so we've given it that. Now, when the page displays, we're going to go ahead and, for a show title, we're going to just hide that title. We don't need to show that title. Now, in our WYSIWYG editor here, we're going to be able to type in Board of Directors. So now that we have Board of Directors type, we'll go ahead and select the text. And right here, what we have is what's called an anchor. And you can notice when you hover over it, it'll say Insert Edit Anchor. So we're going to have to do one single click on Insert Edit Anchor, and we're going to give it a title. And let's call it Board Dash of dash directors. Now I'm going to go ahead and correct this. Directors. I'm going to hit insert. And I'm going to go ahead and change this. I put board of derive. Board of director. I'm just going to go ahead and put directors. So now we have an anchor point attached to the word board of directors. We're going to select the module position. The position that we want to put this in is called content bottom. Now the reason we're putting this in the content bottom position is if we go back to the page and we see EEOS Board of Directors, if we hit question mark TP the position equals one and we hit enter, we're going to get a display of all the available positions and you're going to learn that the Board of Directors is in the content bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a little title right above that that's called the Board of Directors. So let's keep that in mind that we, we should always know what the position is that we're trying to put a piece of content in. Okay, let's go back to the back end again. And so we got EEOS Board of Directors, just title that header, and um, we have Board of Directors type, we have the content position at the bottom. Now let's go with our menu assignment. We want this to show on a selected page, only on the pages selected. So we're going to choose the page selected. When we go ahead and choose that, everything is selected. We're going to click None, which turns all of that off. We'll scroll down to our area where the main menu is, find our About menu, do one single click on About. So what we've told it is only on the page selected, which will be under the About menu, are we looking to show this module, which has an anchor point, which is the Board of Directors. Let's go ahead and click Save. We'll get a quick little save here. And let's go take a look at what that looks like on the page now. So I'm going to do a quick refresh of the page. And if I scroll down to the page, I should see above it the word Board of Directors. Now, if you remember, we said that uh, we were going to make that an anchor point. So anchor points are accessed by typing in the pound symbol, and then we're going to type in board-of-directors. 
That was the um, title that I gave to my anchor point. So when I hit enter, it jumps right to that section. So now we have the board of directors. No matter where I scroll on the page, if I was to refresh that page, that page would have no choice but to load and then jump me right to that section where the board of directors header is. So now, in essence, we've created the anchor point. Now let's take a close look at the URL. The URL is www.orchidseos.com index.php about pound board of directors. So let's copy that URL. Now we now we got to create a menu. So I'm going to go back to East Everglade Orchid Society. I now have what I want in terms of the, the custom anchor point. I'm going to save and close. And then I'm going to head right over to Menus and go under um, Main Menu because I'm going to add a new menu item. So I click New Menu and then I'm going to go and give my new menu a title. That title is Board of Directors. Now the type of menu item I need to create, so I'm going to go ahead and click Select. It's going to be listed under the System links menus and here I'm going to use what's called an external URL and basically in choosing the external URL it gives me the ability to type the link that I want something to go to so I went ahead and copied that link and I'm going to go ahead and paste it http orchidseos.com index about board of directors now that I have that let's go ahead and give a parent menu item to that. The parent root menu is about. So if we follow this, we have the menu title. I've given it. It's going to be board of directors. Um, it's an external URL that's going to a, a fixed link that is using my anchor point. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and click save and close. Now that we've clicked save and close, let's return back to the website and let's refresh the page. But I'm going to drop really quick off this about. And let's just refresh the page completely. And if I look, I have board of directors. Well, if I go ahead and choose board of directors, boom, it jumps right to the board of directors. So if I give whether I go home, no matter where I'm at, that about when selecting board of directors will take me and jump me right to the board of directors page or section on the page. And that's how you create a sub-menu that utilizes an anchor point in general.